Isaac Carter from Los Angeles, California, and um, born and raised there. Um, been through a lot, a lot of crazy experiences living in in, uh, in L.A. Uh, as you can imagine. Um, was fortunate to be around really a good high school environment. Uh, great coaches. Went off to uh, to uh, junior college outside of high, uh, after high school, and had an opportunity to uh, play Division One ball at uh, Eastern Kentucky. And then I finished school in New Mexico, uh, New Mexico Highlands, where I met my wife. And that was kind of the beginning of a new chapter in my life. And um, you know, had an opportunity of starting coaching 20 years ago at that time. And I've been East Coast, West Coast, all over Division One, on down to Division Three. And here we are at Millsaps College, you know, as a new head coach and, and first year head coach. Well, I know that Millsaps is a, is a great academic institution. And uh, I say great because um, I think in this region and really throughout the country, uh, people know the brand um, and the, the academics and what kind of students come out of here um, and the product that comes out of here. Um, I think from a football standpoint, the culture has always been strong. Um, I think that it's a solid program. Um, and right now I'm just looking, and I've stated this before, I'm just looking to take the program from good to great. And um, so recruiting, bringing in, um, you know, bring in, getting our numbers up, um, continue to bring in good coaches that are going to coach hard and, and help develop these, in the, these young men. Super excited about the offense this year um, with our offensive coordinator, Brian Hayes, um, in his second year. Um, I really believe that, you know, we'll be able to go a little bit more in depth in the playbook as opposed to last year. Um, I'm really excited about our quarterback. I think that um, if you have a good quarterback on the roster, you have an opportunity to be good. And so we feel really good about AJ. And, um, you know, he'll, he'll have an opportunity to uh, um, do some special things this year because of our receiver core. Our receiving core is really good, top to bottom. It's probably the most athletic group on the, on the, on the roster and in depth. And, um, and so, you know, we feel really good about our air attack. We have a really good running back core that we feel good about and they're strong and, and they're about four deep. And, um, and then we feel good about our offensive line this year. Um, it's turned out to be a solid group through this little spring mini camp that we've been going through and, and the depth seems to be okay. Um, but we really feel good about the individuals that are playing that position um, on that side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball, you know, we have a good, good group of, of returners and veterans on that side of the ball. Um, our style of play will be a little bit different than it has been in the past, uh, a lot more aggressive. Um, so you, you see a lot more, um, you know, pressure and attacking the offense um, in that capacity. Um, but we feel really good about, you know, our linebacker core. Uh, we have some young defensive linemen. Um, and then we, you know, we have, uh, you know, an All-American and, and Liam um, who's, who's, you know, looking to have a special year and have, he's had a special career here. And so he's obviously uh, a huge plus for us. And then in the secondary, uh, we, have a, we have a really good, strong veteran group um, in our safety position. And, um, and then we have a nice young group of corners that are really athletic, good speed. It's just a matter of, of them getting used to playing the position, executing, and, and ultimately getting used to playing out on the island like that. Sure, you know, you get here, I've been here a full year, and I'm going in, I'll be playing my first game February 6th. Um, so that, that's been interesting. And, and you're doing it in the spring as opposed to the fall. And, um, but the overall going through this, this pandemic and, 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 and the different uh, protocols and, and different limitations, I guess, we have with the sports, um, you know, it's been rough, but the boys have been great at adapting and keeping their feet moving and being flexible, so is the staff. And, um, and, and we have a great administration president on down to our athletic director. Who's, um, who's told us what those, those parameters are, and so we stick to those, 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 uh, those protocols and those parameters, and, and it's been great for us. We get an opportunity to play, uh, we get an opportunity to have some fun and compete, and uh, we're fortunate. Look for us to uh, be very aggressive on offense, defense, special teams. Um, we wanna bring an aggressive culture to the program, um, but I will say this, um, you know, we go back to our three core principles of our program, 
and strive to be our best. So expect to see our best every week. And we expect to win. And it's not a cocky thing. And it doesn't mean we belittle our opponents by any means. Um, I think with preparation and the way we prepare and we'll go about life and go about every day um, or everyday life, I should say, uh, we expect to win when we go up against another opponent and, um, and then we we'll definitely will never give up. And um, so expect us to fight, um, it doesn't matter the circumstance.